Thanks for joining us. I'm Natasha Williams. These are your top headlines. It's an emergency number that could become as commonly known as 911. 988 could be the new emergency number for suicide prevention. There are three simple digits that could be the difference between life and death. Each year, 47,000 people in the United States die by suicide. That's one person every 12 minutes. For decades, the suicide prevention hotline has been a 10 digit 800 number. Mental health experts say shortening it makes it easier to remember and could save lives in the process. If we were in an emergency situation, we're stressed and it's hard for us to remember a lot of things. And so I think the idea behind moving to a three digit number related to suicide is to facilitate people uh, being able to contact help easily and quickly. The change has bipartisan support in Congress and the Federal Communications Commission will vote on it next week. Beyond the number change, experts say there needs to be funding for local call centers around the country to take on any added call volume from the new numbers. Here locally, you can call the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline at the number on your screen. That's 208-398-4357. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is 1-800-273-TALK. In fact, right now, the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline is looking for good listeners. Due to an increase in crisis calls, ISPH needs more trained volunteers in the Boise area. Volunteers do have to be 18 or older to help out. The training session begins on January 16th and goes through the end of February. If you're interested in helping out, head to the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline website. Here at Six on Your Side, we have spent the past two years working to end the stigma around mental health in our state and to bring resources to light as part of our Finding Hope series. For a full list of those resources and for more on, from our Finding Hope series, head to our website, sixonyourside.com, and click Finding Hope. Now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Good afternoon, everybody. We take a look at the numbers today and not a huge change. Still a lot of cloud cover hanging around the valley. Limited sunshine. Magic Valley shows temperatures primarily in the 30s right now. And you see that forecast calling for primarily uh, just a little bit of cloud cover around. This storm system is going to be the big weather maker here. This is going to be tracking on in. And as it moves in, it's going to make some big changes over the weekend. Expecting showers to come in Saturday and Sunday with snow in the higher elevations. Some charts are showing about a half a foot of snow over this weekend. After that, we could be seeing significant amounts of snow the following weekend, actually more towards Wednesday and Thursday of next week up into the central mountains. But we'll have mild weather out ahead of it. It looks like temperatures are going to be warming up during the day tomorrow into the 40s, and then we'll see a little bit of a cool down, but not much over the weekend. If you have outdoor plans for the weekend, especially the football game, be sure to uh, bring along that poncho as rain's likely to fall. We'll have a complete forecast and other update coming your way right here shortly.